After years of dysfunction and claims of mismanagement at the Metropolitan Sewer District, Hamilton County Commissioners, well, they've proposed a plan. And as Night on Your Side's Paolo Soro tells us, some people have been waiting years for some kind of change. Paolo? Yeah, Craig, you know, some kind of change, but also some kind of answer. For example, the owner at these apartments here in Paddock Hills says he's been waiting for a resolution for more than 35 months now. Instead, the families who used to live down here remain displaced and the windows boarded up. The ground floor was literally like flooded, like water damage crazy. Ashley Whitney's car in the middle of it all back in an August 2016 storm where flooding led to sewer backups in areas like Norwood and Paddock Hills. I had seen my car flooded in the inside to where everything was just damaged. She counts her blessings because she lives on the top floor before the eight families who lived down here. Residents had to flee out because the backups came up through and eventually water was about three to four foot tall, three to four foot high out here which was four to five foot high inside the units. All of this taking place just a month after Charles Tassel bought this building. This is the worst nightmare and we're stuck. What can we do with it? But when he reached out to the Metropolitan Sewer District for answers. Nobody can give you answers because whether it's the county commission or the city council, all they can say is, well, it's in court. Several contractors, court dates, and 35 months later, still silence. He's one of many complaining about MSD, which is owned by the county and run by the city. So this is an example of the dysfunction and the de delay that occurs when you have a city county structure that is not cooperating and not in conjunction with one another. Hamilton County Commissioners proposed a plan that would make 20 employees under county supervision the administrators of MSD and leaves about 600 employees on the city payroll handling the day to day work. On the city side, remember one of their highest priorities was making sure that the employees uh, remained in the retirement system and remained city employees. And so this plan addresses that. In a statement, Mayor John Cranley said that the county should get out of the city's way so it can manage and operate the system. Now, while Tassel, the apartment owner here, says that hopefully any change is good change, well, the mayor from the city of Norwood disagrees. Hear what he had to say coming up at 9 on your side at 6. For now, we're live at Paddock Hills, Paolo Suro 9 on your side. Paolo, thank you.